it has occurred to me that although this point of view of mine is apparent on my other online accounts, it is not so much apparent on my YouTube account. I have this great urge to proclaim to the world that I hate liberals. I really hate liberals. They get under my skin, and they have been getting under my skin for a long time. I associated with them in college, namely because at the time I was becoming an activist, and I really don't like the word activist, it's a weenie word, activist. Revolutionary is a pretty cool word. Politician? Not bad. Activist? Pretty weenie word. I was against the government. I wanted to do things. I wanted to take action. And the lefties were doing it. So it seemed like a natural thing to become associated with them. But I am so utterly different from them. And they really drive me nuts. At the time, I saw a lot of differences between me and them. As the days go by, I see even more differences. Anyone who knows me well also knows I am not the type of person who watches television. I don't. I make a distinction between videos and television now, but I don't watch television. I don't have a television set in my home. I boycott mainstream media. Still, I find what one of the South Park guys said to be entirely accurate. It's a great reflection of my views. In this interview he did, he said, I hate conservatives, but I really fucking hate liberals. What a great way to put it. He is suggesting that liberals are worse than conservatives. That's the way I feel. Now, sometimes I do happen to agree with liberals, but it's not because of any same logic we possess. It's merely coincidence. I am not a big fan of the Republican Party, so don't dare try to pigeonhole me there. I don't like liberals. Any Green Party person, any supporter of Ralph Nader will tell you that their big opponents who, the people who give them the hardest time are not the Republicans, but the Democrats and the Liberals. I totally know this from my personal experience. I ran for office in 2000 in Portage County, Wisconsin, and the Democratic Party machine there really tried to put me down. I didn't have too much trouble with the Republicans, but with the Democratic Party machine, they tried to pull me down. One of the best songs ever written is Love Me, I'm a Liberal by Phil Oaks. And there are some new versions of that song. The, the original version and the new versions all make great points. It's about how liberals are so phony and fake. It's about how they support the stupid things. As Phil himself put it, in every American community, there are varying shades of political opinion, and one of the shadiest are the liberals. Conservatives are good for one thing, mostly, and that is their critiques of liberals. I think Ann Coulter is pretty stupid, but what she has to say about liberals is really right on. I read Bernard Goldberg's book, 100 People Who Are Rooting in America, and I thought that book was pretty damn good. I didn't agree with everything, of course, but it was pretty good. He even says, I know you're not going to agree with me. When I went to college, I really saw how the conservatives are right about the liberals dominating college campuses, and they're not doing it for good reasons. I consider myself a radical, and thus I don't like liberals. Most radicals view liberals as watered-down bullshit. 
But we don't have many true radicals left anymore. It's very sad. To give you an idea of the stupid shit liberals do, I will point to one thing in 2004 and one thing recently. In 2004, they have the anyone but Bush. Basically, like the name suggested, anyone but Bush, anyone but Bush would qualify. They would vote for anyone. Michael Moore himself, the Pope of liberalism, put it this way. I'll vote for any of the Democratic nominees except for Joe Lieberman, who's Bush light. So all these lame-ass Democrats who were running, and there were nine of them, if I recall correctly, in 2004, he would have supported any of them. Except for Lieberman. So he does have some standards, that jackass. This year... The liberals got this brilliant idea of boycotting the health food store, Whole Foods Market. I really love health foods. So I love the health food store. Whole Foods Market is by no means perfect. It's a corporation and it's probably not as good as some of the local co-ops. But it's fucking ridiculous to urge a boycott. And the reason they urged it is so goddamn ludicrous. They said because the CEO of Whole Foods Market put out a letter to the editor about how he was against Obama's health care plan. Obama is a dumbass. And the liberals who love him are a dumbass. So who the fuck cares if the CEO said healthcare is not a guaranteed right? Good for him. That makes me want to go to the store more. In fact, I really love this because it means liberals are not going to be in Whole Foods Market. I don't get there enough. It's far away during the weekends I like to relax, but I love it. I love all the food they have. The prices aren't totally terrible. It's an awesome place. Plus, they got great samples. One of the best places for samples. Not perfect? No. Of course not. But the goddamn liberals say, we boycott Whole Foods Market. I never liked Obama from the start. I never even entertained the thought of voting for him once. And the liberals were trying to say, you're racist if you don't vote for Obama. I voted for a Latino guy. So does that mean you're racist because you didn't vote for a Latino guy? According to the dumbass liberals, it sure is. I see all the liberals I hung out with in the past and I realize today I don't want to hang out with those people anymore. I can't stand to be with them. I'm not so close-minded as I wouldn't have any liberal friends, but whenever I talk to liberals, it's pretty damn clear to me. We are not of the same mind. We have very different approaches to life. And liberals generally have a big problem with what I do. They give me lots of criticism. They will say things like, I oppose nearly everything you do. They believe it's okay to be obese. I definitely agree that it's okay, it's wrong to have these rigid beauty standards where everyone has to look like Kate Moss. But we don't have to go to the other extreme either. Liberals say, fat people are okay. No, it's not okay. Exercise is great. Not everyone's going to become a model because they exercise. But that doesn't mean you have to let yourself go. No. I staunchly oppose liberalism. I staunchly seek to destroy liberalism. I'm not about affirming them. I'm not about associating with them. I'm about bringing something new into the picture. Liberals suck big time. 